always remember, your focus determines your reality. Stay close to me, and you'll be safe. Hey, how's it going, everybody? How are we all doing? Well, today's video, I want to go and talk about um, a topic that was kind of brought to my uh, my attention from a data mine. Um, if you guys aren't following or are in the Sugo event server, go check it out, guys. It's a great server. A lot of good info there. And the, my favorite part about that server actually is they actually publish the data mines in the game the day of uh, whatever the newest thing is. And today's data mine that I saw was a pack. I know it's just a pack, but I can see it's actually being a pretty big thing. So let's go swap over and check this thing out. So I'm not sure if you can see this and I can't really zoom in, but at the very bottom, it just says new packs, Phoenix Squadron bundle. There's a gear 12 mega bundle one and a gear 12 mega bundle two. Uh, and that's about it for the data mine. That's all there is. But why would there be, why would there be a Phoenix bundle in, in this part of the game? You know, this, I think the whole the whole faction for the Phoenix has been a thing for like the last, gosh, I don't even I want to say like four to five years. It's been a long long time, um, but it just doesn't make sense to me why they, why they'd bring it out. Um, and I asked a few people around the discords I'm in, and a couple of them were just like thinking very very simple um, and simplistic, like it's just gonna be something there to help out with newer players who want to get thrown unlocked. But that's that's a gear twelve. And I just don't see, you know, a gear 12 <laughs> being a pack for getting Thrawn unlocked or maybe even other, um, I think also the emp the Emperor needs some as well. But, you know, I think it's something bigger here and I don't know um, really what it may be. There they are, Phoenix. Um, but, you know, if you're a new player and you see a pack like that, I would not buy that pack because if you're trying to just unlock Thrawn, you can get Thrawn done with like, <laughs> with like gear 7s and 8s. Like it's something crazy. Um, but like... The other thing I thought of when I when I had first saw that was, man, maybe there's going to be something with Phoenix coming on the line. I don't know what it may be, but what if it ties into some Mandalorian content and perhaps Bo-Katan? Um, and that's the thing I wanted to really emphasize here is I think that we might be getting some Mandalorian character. Um, I'm not too sure if it's going to, going to be exactly Bo-Katan or maybe this is going to be, you know, a, a hint uh, towards maybe some reworks of these characters or perhaps... Um, making some other characters like I think Ahsoka Fulcrum, making her have the Phoenix tag as well. Um, but I think it was definitely worth mentioning. So again, you know, these guys, they're not the greatest. These guys are very outdated. Um, the ones I think you might get the most use out of right now in the game um, is probably going to be Kanan and Ezra, just because both of them are Jedi. I can see maybe a, a chopper if you're going to be using some other guys, like some droids and rebels. Uh, but... <laughs> I don't really see any uses out of Hera. I don't really see any uses out of Sabine or Zeb, although Sabine is a Mandalorian. So I really don't, I just don't know where all these guys will be used. I would love if we just got some more Mandalorian love and heck, if we do happen to get some Phoenix reworks or just some touch-ups, I'd be all down for it. This is like one of the earliest um, squads you'll get in the game if you want to go for Thrawn. I know since, since I played, it's going to be a, a lot different. Maybe you want to go out over and after other people like some separatists and whatnot to get like Padman locked right off the bat. But usually this is what people go for first. And it would be kind of cool if they made them uh, actually pretty dang good. Um, but we'll have to see. They are rebels. And if they do rework some other rebels, I mean, this whole rebel faction will be insane. You already have two really great teams being Mon Mothma and then CLS. If we had another uh, another Phoenix team being really good here and uh, maybe hopefully getting a uh, Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum getting the Phoenix tag, man... This would be an entirely just great faction. I would say if that actually did happen, this would be like a top faction or one of the top factions in the game because Jedi, I'd say, are one of the top factions. If not, they are the top faction for the amount of teams you have and the quality of teams you have. But I don't know. I would love to see some Phoenix reworks. Um, although me saying that, I have not seen one single episode of that whole Rebels TV show. But, you know, I, I, just, <laughs> I just don't like cartoons, man. I don't know why I'm weird like that. Anyways, other part here I want to go over and talk about for today is going to be uh, some Mandalorian stuff. So the Mandalorian content we just got was the armor and also the Mandalorian Beskar version. And uh, people are just not liking him too much. And me especially, I, I don't like this guy a whole lot, um, especially considering the fact that you have to put in so much effort for him and the amount you get out is just not that great. Um, but with that being said, I can definitely see 
you know, another addition to this faction, like in one, one more character, maybe two more characters here, then it opens up the entire faction to be actually very usable and actually pretty dang good. Um, because, you know, as of right now, they're not too hot. There is not really that many great characters here because most of these guys are either going to be tied in with other teams, like for the Mando. This is really more for the, uh, the Beskar Mando team with IG-11, Quill, and other people like I think we usually use Cara Dune or we even use Nest. Um, but you know, definitely something to look out for, to look out for. Um, of course you got the Fett, Jango Fett and the Mandalorian. Those, those guys are great, really, really great and solid in the bounty hunter team with like a Bosk lead or a Jango Fett lead. They're definitely amazing. Uh, but then you have like other ones here, like Candorous, Sabine, Gar Saxon, um, the Imperial Super Commando. I mean, these guys are just so, so bad. So like maybe this, this whole year. We'll be centered around the Mandalorian stuff. I don't know too much, but like, I would say if we get like a Bo-Katan in the game, we get some more touch-ups on some of these different characters. Man, this team could be insane. You know, I want to. I always like going back to the Geos and you know how bad they were before we got the Geo Brood Alpha. They, these guys were just so pitiful, man. They were just so bad. Um, they they all got a bit of a unique here with uh, the addition of the GBA, and then they made them really really good. I wouldn't say, though, that they're top tier right now in the game, but they definitely are great in most aspects of the game. Um, and, the, you know, with the relics on these guys, these guys are very, very scary. And there's something to look out for, especially in some GAC and TW kind of um, places in the game. But I, just, I like to bring up the, the point here sometimes is that, you know, you might have a very, very bad faction, but, like, once you toss in one character, in this instance, just a Geo Brood Alpha here, it can transform the whole faction, you know, pretty immensely. And I would love if we got just like one more character for the whole Mandalorian faction to make them very, very good. So, you know, GBA, you guys, his little brute, his little Geo brute here, the little taunt, it's awesome. Like, I'm not going to compare this, you know, directly to the Mandalorian faction. Um, but I do think in this whole faction, this lead is not going to be even close, <laughs> even close to enough to being um, the best or if like any any really great lead for the Mandalorian faction, you're gonna have to have something a bit bigger here. Um, so I think that lead is kind of pointless, especially considering the fact that this whole faction's garbage, um, and you're pulling away very 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 important teams and, and and characters. So I definitely think we're gonna get some other big um, leadership here, and it's going to tie them in very very nicely. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But you know, coming back to that Phoenix stuff, man, I I think we'll get something here something here shortly with the phoenix um I, I don't know why but these guys i've seen with relics they are pretty fun to play with but they're just nothing you know top tier they are fun but they need some help here you know you got so many people here that can call them to assists do some big damage but there's just something missing maybe we get some reworks here i don't know but it is a fun team to play with still but just very outdated um and i would love if they want to go back and, and go and revisit some of these older teams and and you know, squads and make them a bit better, especially considering the fact that some of these guys play into part with some of these new TV shows we're having. Like some of these guys will more than likely uh, be played into part with a new Mandalorian uh, season down the line. Um, Bo-Katan was in, I think, the Rebels and also the Clone Wars and of course the Mandalorian. So, I mean, she would be the best, the best person to add in for this whole thing. Um, but that is, uh, that is pretty much it, I think. I would love, honestly, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and, uh, and comments down below about this whole stuff. Um, do you guys, would you, okay, be honest with me, would you guys really, if we got some reworks and touch-ups on the Phoenix, would you guys actually go out of your way to build them up? Because um, I would love to know, because these guys are just so outdated, man. But if they if they had some good enough reworks, I can I can see some people going after them, you know, after all these years. Um, and also, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on the Mandalorian faction. And if you guys believe we'll get a Bo-Katan, if we're going to get, you know, some sort of build up to a cool character, like a legendary character, um, anything, honestly, I'd love your guys' thoughts and comments down below. And if you guys are new here to the channel, feel free to sub. We're trying to hit our 15K sub goal. And I would have, uh, I would love if we could hit that goal because I think at 15K, I want to do another big sort of thing, maybe even a giveaway. So if you guys would like to stick around for that, feel free to, I would love that. And I would appreciate that a lot as well. We're trying to do these daily videos as well um, on these off weeks of GAC. So guys, feel free to check them out. Um, but I think that'll be doing it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.
and have a good one. See you guys.